What is today on today's situation? Welcome everyone to today's situation where we answer what is today and what happened on this day. Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. Let's get started. Famous holidays and observances for May 5th. Today is Cartoonists Day. It is observed on May 5th each year. National Cartoonists honor all those creative ink-stained artists, past and present, and the fascinating pieces they have created throughout history. Throughout the years, their talents bring humor, entertainment into our lives while provoking thought and debate as well. Today is Europe Day. It is a day celebrating peace and unity throughout Europe. It is celebrated on the 5th of May by the Council of Europe and on May 9th by the European Union. The first recognition of Europe Day was by the Council of Europe, introduced in 1964. The European Union later started to celebrate its own European Day in commemoration of the 1950 Schumann Declaration, leading it to be referred to by some as Schumann Day or Day of the United Europe. Both days are celebrated by displaying the flag of Europe. Today is Hand Hygiene Day. It is celebrated every year on this day as it helps mobilize people around the world to increase adherence to hand hygiene and healthcare facilities, thus protecting healthcare workers and patients from infections. This year the campaign theme, Save Lives, Clean Your Hands, is aligned with the year of the nurse and the midwife and aims to recognize nurses and midwives as frontline heroes who deserve acknowledgement and appreciation and highlight their critical roles in infection prevention. If you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe and thank you. Now back to the commentary. Revenge of the Fifth much like the nickname for Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you, the name Revenge of the Fifth is based on a rhyme pulling from the 2005 film Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, because the words fifth and Sith sound alike. Online, the earliest known usage of Revenge of the Fifth occurred on the message board of the website Hero Scraper. On May 5th, 2010, in the thread Happy Star Wars Day, in which people frequently wished each other May the 4th be with you, user Obsidian responded, Does that mean that today is Revenge of the 5th? Cinco de Mayo is today. It is an annual celebration held on May 5th. The date is observed to commemorate the Mexican army's victory over the French Empire at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862, under the leadership of General Ignacio Zaragoza. The victory of the smaller Mexican force against the larger French force was a boost to morale for the Mexicans. Zaragoza died months after the battle due to illness. A year after the battle, a larger French force defeated the Mexican army at the Second Battle of Puebla, and Mexico City soon fell to the invaders. Important historical events for May 5th. In 1260, Kublai Khan, grandson of Genghis Khan, became the ruler of the Mongol Empire. In 1789, the French Estates General met for the first time since 1614 at Versailles and was summoned by King Louis XVI. In 1792, Jean-Baptiste Joseph de Lambert was commissioned to measure the meridian between Dunkirk to Rodez to calculate accurate length of the meters. In 1840, Thomas Carlyle began his famous lecture series called The Hero as Divinity. Later, Collected in his book, it was called On Heroes, Hero Worship, and the Heroic in History. The Panic of 1893 caused a large New York Stock Exchange crash to occur. In 1921, perfume Chanel No. 5 was released by fashion designer Coco Chanel. In 1930, Army Johnson took off as the first woman to fly solo from England to Australia. In 1944, Mahatma Gandhi was freed from prison. In 2017, Anna Winter, the editor of US Vogue, was made a dame by Queen Elizabeth at Buckingham Palace. In 2018, Childish Gambino, also known as Donald Glover, released a music video to his new single, This Is America, to wide acclaim. Famous birthdays for May 5th. May 5th, 1818, Karl Marx was born. 
Marx's critical theories about society, economics, and politics, collectively understood as Marxism, hold that human societies develop through class conflict. In the capitalist mode of production, this manifests itself in the conflict between the ruling classes that control the means of production and the working classes that enable these means by selling their labor power in return for wages. In 1865, Nellie Bly, or Elizabeth Cochran Seaman, was an American journalist and writer who was born on this day. She was born in Cochran's Mills, Pennsylvania. She was an American journalist, industrialist, inventor, and charity worker who was widely known for her record-breaking trip around the world in 72 days. In emulation of Jules Verne's fictional character Phileas Fogg, and an expose in which she worked undercover to report on a mental institution from within. She was a pioneer in her field and launched a new kind of investigative journalism. In 1943, Michael Palin was born. Palin wrote most of his comedic material with fellow Python member Terry Jones. Before Monty Python, they had worked on other shows such as The Ken Dodd Show, The Frost Report, and Do Not Adjust Your Set. Palin appeared in some of the most famous Python sketches. In 1983, Henry Cavill, an English actor, was born in Jersey, Channel Islands. Cavill gained international recognition with his role as Superman in the DC Extended Universe superhero films Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice and Justice League. He also starred in the action spy films The Man from U.N.C.L.E. and Mission Impossible Fallout. Famous passings for May 5th. In 1821, Napoleon Bonaparte passed. He was a French military leader and the Emperor of the French from 1804 to 1814. He died in exile on the island of St. Helena, officially from stomach cancer, but there are rumors that persist to this day that it was of arsenic poisoning. Napoleon had an extensive and powerful impact on the modern world, bringing liberal reforms to the numerous territories that he conquered and controlled, especially the Low Countries, Switzerland, and large parts of modern Italy and Germany. He implemented fundamental liberal policies in France and throughout Western Europe. His lasting legal achievement, the Napoleonic Code, has been highly influential to this day. In 1959, Carlos Saavedra Lamas passed. Saavedra Lamas was known as a strict disciplinarian in his office, a logician at the conference table, a charming host in his home or his art gallery, and a man of sartorial elegance who wore, it is said, the highest collars in Buenos Aires. In addition to the Nobel Peace Prize, he was awarded the Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor of France and analogous honors from 10 other countries. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.